Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to our Thursday Q and A. <coughs> Sorry, uh, Thursday Q and A for footage photographers. I'm Alex Kolskov, your host, and this will be recorded uh, version of it. I'm on bootcamp, second week on bootcamp, and uh, I cannot join you this Thursday. So uh, tomorrow I won't be with you. You will see this video instead. No worry, I'll do my best. And again, no worry, um, it will be no boot camps on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is only la the last one, okay? So, let me switch to our beauty and I'll talk about this, what I see. Here, yeah, uh, I already start Richie. Hello, Richie. I started this um, review uh, when I got to go to school to pick up my daughter. It was emergency last time, two weeks ago. So I was telling that it's cool, but it's too bright, right? It's too bright, and this um, the the banners, the, the flags, kind of. I mean, they look nice. <laughs> they look look really nice, but they just a little bit not a photography, uh, but illustration. Okay. Um, so talking about the whole thing, it's good, uh, except this light that little bit too much for me. But the, the look, the atmosphere is very interesting. It's like, sort of like, I don't know, steampunk, titanic, uh, titanic, yeah. And all this, I don't know, somehow this is what I have in mind. Okay. Uh, this would be better if it would be less bright uh, of this spot. This is very nice. This is, I love it. This is super cool. I'm debating myself if you need these... Uh, Ages on both sides. I am not sure, you know. If it will be without, uh, well, it's not a good idea. But let's let's crop it like this, for example. If we crop it without ages, will it be good or not? Let's see. So I have a feeling that it may not need the, those corners, you know. Okay. It's it's subjective, of course. So I would get rid uh, of corners and, um, and that, uh, the clouds. Very nice. The Guinness is beautiful. You have uh, very interesting lighting. In terms of that, there is an age light. I mean, not age light. It's age shadow, right? It's dark age on the on the edges. <laughs> it's dark dark reflection and it look a little bit strange especially here on top you see because we losing a little bit uh, it's on a dark background so dark edge on something bright is okay when we have relatively bright background otherwise we put bright edge right if background is dark so this is dark background at least on top and there is no this uh, edge light and um, that may be a little bit problematic. Again, it's it looks nice because mostly background is relatively bright, but on top, on top, this area, we kind of from far away when we don't zoom out, and especially if monitor will be a little bit lower um, brightness, it will look a little bit strange. It's like almost like a form gets outside of the glass, sort of like sticking out, you know. So just pointing uh, again. This is not big deal many, many people won't notice it but just I, I did notice so I'll tell you uh, the rest is nice I, I like these gradients your uh, highlight here on my taste it's a little bit too much a little bit because it's completely overexposed you see it here it's it's like it's a burned white hole and I usually don't like it I would dial it down like a half a stop if possible if it's not completely overexposed on the raw file, okay? It, it can be and should be brighter than this. It's okay to have brighter, but maybe not on this, you know. I would pick somewhere color like this. This area, you see, is relatively bright, but it's not uh, completely overexposed, okay? So, good job. Good job, especially with the Guinness in the glass. I love that beer, and you did it well. <laughs> So, thank you. Let's move to next one. Uh, Bruno, hello Bruno, I didn't see you 
yeah, recently, I mean, didn't uh, see your work uh, sometime. And this is good, as most of the things that you've been posting, it's very good. I was looking at it and I, I couldn't find any, you know, anything to really point to you and tell, hey, it could be done better. I don't know. It's all the same shots, right? I mean, you just put in pattern. It looks like, yeah, maybe not, but shadow. This is a little bit brighter, but again, it could be brighter. In any case, in any case, this is perfect. I don't see any anything that I would point like a mistake. Improvements, I don't know about improvements either. Um, colors, it's warm white everywhere. Uh, kind of creamy a little bit. Again, it works really nice and uh, it's uh, the background, the surface that you have. It works really well to make in these uh, caps, you know, the tops of this uh, mascara or whatever it is, being white. So it, it's very good in, in, in many cases. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What is this like? To oh, okay. It's it's a warden. So, yeah. No, not, a, not an issue at all. Yeah, it has some strange things on the bottom, but... Maybe if you clone all of this, maybe it makes sense to you know to fix this. I mean, it's just just some blemish, right? I mean, it's it's not blemish, but um, I mean, constructional imperfectness or whatever you call it uh, on the bottom. You may fix it if you want. Oops, to be you know like high high end upscale, you know, photographer that do only perfect things. <laughs> so you, you can fix it if you want. Okay, and then clone everywhere because I don't think it's it's sexy to have some pimple there or you know this little thingy. Okay, very good work, thank you. No Q and A, yeah, no Q and A again. Rafael, Rafael, my dear friend, you used. No diffusers, no sort boxes. You even no honeycomb grid. I see. Okay, and honeycomb grid. It may be not enough for this subject. Why you choose this lighting schema? It's interesting. Why you select this? I mean, why you shoot it this way? Uh, why masking? Because look at this. It's technically kind of. It it looks okay, but it's not okay at all uh, altogether. Why? It's not contrast. It's hard to see, and especially with this tight crop, it's super tight. I don't I against this type of crop on top, especially. Um, you can crop like this on completely white background, so then other people can put it uh, whatever they want, clip it out, and then put in the environment like I do with AI. But it's not white background, right? Oh, by the way, it's cool to run it through AI. I'll try. I'll post what it will come about. And um, the one second. And um, to make it like a product photography, like a hero shot, you need to have background uh, separate. Uh, well, subject separated from the background way more. Okay, this is this is th that you have to do this. Okay. One second. So, I would do darker background for sure, and the subject will be glowing if you have this lighting schema, oh, it's okay. Um, it will be glowing on the dark background with some reflection, then it will be nice. Otherwise, that's just plain shot. So, let me try not to, to, to do it like uh, on AI, just wondering what will happen. One second, we'll do it quick and Uh, 
and I post it later, okay? So for you, the recipe is to, to make sure that the subject is standing out of the background way more. Really, otherwise it's, 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 it's not good. And never crop that, that tight, never crop that tight, unless it's white background. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is what I did. Over here. That's a cool. If somebody would show me this like five years ago, I would say that it's impossible, but it is possible for 30 seconds, you know. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Dario, hello Dario. You have some jewelry. I think I was talking uh, about this jewelry before, but you did some yeah, changes, right? So let's see. What you can tell, it's done very well, very well. This is better. Yeah. I like here uh, the the diamond a little bit better than on the first shot. Okay, and uh, overall the uh, metal is brighter, so it's shinier. I would say. Here it's it's darker, okay. It's I mean it's not bad sort of because many things done well, but uh, that that the other one looks better for me, okay. Um, and even the angle is better. Here I met a little bit more smoother, but I like this better, okay. Angle I see inside for me if it's like, well it's e-commerce anyway, right? As a customer I I, I see the inside of the uh, ring and the the metal looks super shiny the diamonds shiny uh, everything is fine this you can do a little bit better um post-production you know there is uh like here look at this there is some area which can be just dark like like here here there uh, but you have some some reflection some some stuff there so i would i would completely darken it out not not completely but at least there is no texture or whatever is there right and yeah the rest is super nice it's very well very well done and yeah you did it right you can always close the top right if you need no uh, but probably for this ring hit it's not necessary it wasn't necessary is it heavyweight plastic i am not sure but it worked it worked so yeah yeah th this i like this better Good job, Dario. Thank you. Well done. Alrighty. Aurora. Saga. Saga continues. <laughs> right. Uh. Maybe the last. I'll be missing your soap saga, Aurora. Why? <laughs> you shoot everything. So let's see. Mm. I just like this. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. So looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, somehow a little bit. Mm, like chaotic, um, the, the, the propping a little bit. This is soap, right? And it's on wood. And we have soap bubbles. Okay, by the way, soap bubbles for this big piece of soap, probably they could be better when they larger, larger balls. Spheres, <laughs> not balls, <laughs> right? Um, and I, I, I'm not a big fan of this, you know, like, yeah, same here. Mm. Well, at least this one is better. So 
and just let's for, for me mess a little bit kind of messy right i prefer to see uh, like balls but not not like tiny like foam uh foam may be m cool when they have a uh, lots of foam uh, i would imagine that you know foam all around instead of stones like so lots of foam and then this guy sticking out of the foam by the way cool idea create a foam and have this uh thing sticking out on the foam and then maybe even some colored light for the foam i'm not sure but so I, i'm not big fan of of this particular one the the flying one because of the colors and everything the yeah looks they looks really good i like them um i would well do i crop it or not i don't know so you see i mean it's it's a matter of propping right because technically it's all done right there is no big issues with this um it's a matter of how you know to pull pull the stuff very creative things one second what else so i cannot really suggest you anything you know like hey do this and do that i don't have much ideas no well i do have some for example just an idea instead of being uh on a glossy surface glossy like this imagine that this surface cover it with water and you just vibrate a little bit it's and each stone and each piece will start creating the little waves, you know, uh, on the liquid. Maybe it will look really cool, cool, you know, like, because it's almost, it resembles almost like a liquid, you know, it's closely like liquid. Uh, of course, it's way more work than this, but who knows. Anyway, creative creativity is, you know, endless. Uh, technically, it's done well, except I don't like these, you know, pieces of... Uh, Form this very tiny little form, and this one it's it's lost. I mean, it, it's blue, so white balance is off. Uh, there is no contrast except this little guy. It's uh, it's super bright, but at least color contrast. But uh, the rest, um, again, I, I would love to see the white to be white because now it's uh, white balance is off. And if you have this soap and stuff, I think I was talking about it. I don't like this. It's 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 too plain, okay? Because on white background, which is not white, and thing like this. Yeah, it's a big piece of soap. I'm wondering, your client, they left it. I mean, you're gonna use it or or not? It's for like supply one year supply of soap okay so the last one probably the last one is this okay this is better yeah i would crop it slightly like this for sure like like that okay we don't need that much on top so a little bit more quadratish i mean the squarish <laughs> uh, yeah it's it's kind of getting uh late now what else here yeah i mean again technically all is fine you do you know, you may do some other things uh, you know on the creative side i'm not sure about again this like lots of things but other hand it looks nice so yeah colors color wise fine nice the most important thing that your client is liking it right and paying you well so that's good 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 job thank you Aurora. thank you for your saga that was something okay dario hello dario again and we have watched that you are trying to rotate previously i think right and um, very challenging and simple yeah when simple and glossy simple then it's challenging for sure uh held up i removed the post uh, in greenish part of the glass 
but I got a feedback suggesting to leave colored because it's natural glass refraction. Okay, so let's see. This and that. Wait a minute, where is greenish? Uh, um, barrier. I don't see. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe this one. Maybe this part is green, right? Okay, I see now. This is greenish. You know what? Um, well, for me, if it would be clean like this, if it's with green, it's fine. I don't think it's it will be an issue with this. Yeah, I see. So, yeah, I don't think an issue. Maybe it's good thing to have. I don't mind not having it, basically. Uh, for me, for me, <coughs> when glass is a little bit greenish, I think it's um, the the metal that uh, you know heavy. How you plum boom, pl plum plum. I forgot the English name. Svinets in Russian. Anyway, it's like uh, not the best quality of the glass if it's uh, greenish. I, that's for me just because, you know, in Soviet Union we have all the glasses greenish and it was not a super, um, you know, good quality glass. Uh, but maybe there are different uh, quality glass and green is fine. So if it's fine, leave it. Uh, I, I personally prefer it to be non, not green. Okay. Okay, le the rest. It's good. It looks good. Did this part when you have the because of the very close up angle. I mean the close up shot, right? The bracelet, the the uh, back side of the bracelet, it's not really visible as a bracelet. I I was kind of I didn't even understood first that it was bracelet really. So I think with this angle, you don't need to have bracelet at all. If you shoot a little bit farther away, then yes, the whole thing, the whole bracelet will be visible and uh, the in internal part. But if I would be shooting it like this, I would take that part away completely. It will be just, you know, instead I would put some maybe digital, but a background like a bokeh, like uh, spots, you know, the rounded spots, circular sort of uh, behind made it a little bit darker so uh, the watch will pop up and that's it really i i would i wouldn't use this because the the shot itself it's good you you cleaned it uh the lighting is good you have gradients this looks good uh here is some you know we see that it's glossy the bracelet so not a problem it's good i would take care about the uh background I, I would make like a bokeh actually i can try all these uh, to run through stable diffusion <sighs> would be really interesting i will tell them about different background it will cut it for me and place it and we can test really that's that's maybe like uh, i was talking about previous thingy uh, this is what it did you see it didn't uh, do right job because it was cropped too tight so it was uh, almost had no uh, area to to work on it okay this is why it's not good mm. but but you can prototype you can test uh, things very well here it's interesting if i do this meanwhile uh, if we put our guys I'm not promoting anything really I, I just trying to you know to have fun uh, watch with this uh, fun as well like prototyping my ideas so if I say uh, I would say I would say I would say shall do a field blah 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 So I'm gonna take this and put it right here, okay. <coughs> and I how bokeh, dark and bright spots bokeh on a background. Okay, shallow dust of field. I think I have it here, right? Yeah. 
let's put it D or F. We'll see. I'm just so. Meanwhile, let's let's go and and work on other submissions, right? So you have this cool light, Godox. They do good lighting. Yeah, actually, green is nice. <laughs> Looking at it, it's, it's green. Green is good too. So Dario, good job. Thank you. Now. Okay, QI is cancelled. So Carol, we will have it will be here at the forum uh, about new webinar. It's coming, I think, next week. So we'll we'll I'll notify you. Uh, this one, let's go back to this. First, I'll check. Oh, this is the background that I was talking about. The only thing that we don't need to have a fly, and uh, fly is not good because I have fly here. <laughs> you see, flies. Uh, I'll put a 0 0.3 for the fly, and actually I'm going to remove the fly altogether. We don't need to have that fly. Uh, I'll put some different style, and it will be the styling like this. But you see what I mean, right? This is the idea for the background. Without any bracelet. Do it like this and boom, it's it's cool, right? This might must be a very nice tool for you guys. I will we still develop in the application, we have some hiccups there. But yeah, imagine that they can use it like this uh, on your possession. Okay. Uh Richie, Richie again, uh was well one of the greatest whiskey. Uh, and let's see. Okay, this this is this is good. What is going on? Yeah, this is good. What did you do? What did you do with this? I mean, it is like for the shop or what, what is that? What is going on? This is how it should be, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post this for you guys so you will see. Sorry for me jumping back and forth. Sorry, that's I can't do anything about it. That's probably not gonna work. It will be visible, too much visible. The the mask, but I'll try. <coughs> but you can do mask yourself, you know. Uh, in Photoshop, it's five minutes thingy, right? And fix it, and it will be a nice background. And actually, it's it even did reflection for you <laughs> somewhere a little bit. You see, from that bouquet. Okay, um, Richie, this is good. This is very good. I love it. I love it. The only thing that I don't like is the angle for the glass, okay? Angle for the glass is straight, and the glass doesn't look like glass. It looks like uh, almost like a brick, like a glass brick. If I would know that it's actual cylindrical subject, object, I wouldn't know about the shape, because you shoot it this way. Where is our nice oval on top, or at least on the bottom? No, top, you need to see top. In this angle, you need to go higher and show us the opening so it will be cylindrical glass. Okay, not like this. This is the only thing that I would change here. Okay, this is very nice, very nice shot, very nice. By the way, we can fix it, I think, in AI. If I'll make a uh, little, like, a thingy here, um, just draw it and run through this, it will be actually not bad, it worked. A little bit mask is visible. <coughs> the text is preserved. By the way, this workflow that I'm using, this one, is what we're gonna work tomorrow with my group with uh, Bootcamp. Wow, I'm excited. This is we're gonna use your images to hit the rocket. Ha, <laughs> it will be fun. Okay, uh, back to reaching. 
Very good, very good. I don't have anything except angle. Okay, Rich, you you're doing very well. <laughs> Rich, what is this? What is this? Is it like dancing with, <laughs> with your computer? I was thinking that you know some behind the scene or whatever. Anyway, it's okay. Nice. So you use the uh, this uh, sauce, the how you call it, soy sauce, right, for uh, to make a whiskey. Cool idea. Yeah, I don't know what you did. I didn't like it, but this is nice. Good, good. This is very good. This is very, very good. Like I said, if we try to do like this, I'm just wondering if we grab this image, uh, how it will work if we'll draw things on top. Hey. It's some um, rather dark brown. So if I will do something that you didn't do, okay, oh no, and if I save it, and if I fit it here, and if I tell it to, to do, to do what, uh, well, it's a little bit not for this one, uh, workflow because it's going to clip it out, but we'll try. Ooh, bottle. And a glass. Probably it will cut it off. It's cutting the um, subject based on the prompt. Now glass, it didn't like the glass. Bottle of whiskey and a glass of whiskey. Whiskey. So you see it clipped only a bottle and it's gonna place bottle in some background which is dark and bright spot similar to what we had uh, for the watch. Yeah. Mm. Let's run it one more time with the a little bit different subject. So this is the actual one. No, I didn't like. Okay, anyway. I didn't want to clip out two subjects. It only do, does one. So then, Richie, you have... Well, you won't have your image <laughs> from AI. But this is very good job. I, I really, really, really enjoy your work recently. Huge progress. Okay, so this will be fixed. Uh, I mean, not uh, fixed. Everything is fine, except uh, there is no date. Uh, we'll add another date for you, uh, for Carol, for you and others. Okay. And now, Carol, some beauty of yours. Wow. Wow. Uh, the, the question, yeah, this is a question. This is question. It's a tough question. E either one is good. I still think that this one is a little bit better. Because these little pieces of color, you know, the colors uh, on the flowers, on these archives, and this, Tom Ford and stuff, it's enough. It's, we don't need other color. So, yeah, I like this better, okay? Just a uh, gray background. And the rest is super good. Yeah, this is what you can do in, in definitely in AI. But some Photoshop, you can always add some Photoshop, but yeah. Well done. Carol, I don't have anything to tell you, you know, how to improve because it's it's really good. I don't see any mistakes, I don't see any issues here. It's very, very, very well done. Yeah. All right. 
right, right. So thank you again for great work. That's it. You see, the two weeks and not so many submissions. Uh, again, guys, I am apologize that I won't be doing this for you uh, in real time. However, uh, we will we'll continue our rendezvous uh, every Thursday, and yeah. And again, if you didn't see my uh, webinar, uh, I invite you. You may be able to get to uh, bootcamp version three. It will be even better than second one. Uh, we kind of now I, I know more ideas about how to build it better. Uh, it will be more pre-recorded stuff, so we won't be waiting for people who slow and you know each one on their own space. It will be better. Anyway. Thank you for your great work, everyone. And I see some of you tomorrow on bootcamp and uh, the rest I'll see you next Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Already? Have a good rest of your week and, uh, well, have fun. <laughs> Bye.